Okay. <clears throat> it's windy. All right, so you know the setup. I'm in a park and I'm gonna go live. Well, I am live. I'm just gonna be doing tarot cards for the water signs. Sorry. It's kind of hot. So I'm gonna use the RuPaul deck, like I have been. So this is gonna be a water sign reading for Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Are you ready, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces? And I'm gonna use the Golden Girls deck. So I'm gonna read this um, water signs with this deck. And then with this deck, I'm gonna clarify it with the RuPaul Drag Race rep. All right, so um, I'm trying to set up my little station here to do this reading, guys. I think... All right, let's see. Hi, water signs. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the live. Waiting on canters. I just got, like, I'm trying to get myself situated, guys. I'm going to be doing water signs. It's all the water signs. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. I just, like, literally trying to get myself together here. And it's kind of windy, so. It's been a minute. So yesterday I was live for Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the day before that, I was Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it's like three days in a row I was live. And then I'm gonna be doing donation readings where I pull out three cards and people send donations. So I'm bringing that back also. And I'm also gonna be doing natal chart readings and um, all the types of readings I'm gonna be adding. So if people want any of um, those things answered, just leave a comment in the um, description. Description. Leave a comment on the live, sorry. Also, I wanna um, explain to people that are learning about natal charts and planets. Um, there's kids behind me, right? You see? <laughs> um, another thing too is Mars is in retrograde and retrograde means it's going backwards so right now is that um, when Mars is in retrograde that means there's gonna be a lot of weapons um, police army fighting and arguing is gonna be happening because Mars is out in retrograde right now so because Mars are being re and all the earth signs water signs air signs you need to be careful because do not take anything personal when your friends, family, co-workers are attacking you because Mars is in retrograde. And that's anger, uh, manipulation, fighting, arguing, uh, masculine energy, dominating energy. It, be, it represents weapons. Mars and Saturn represents the army and the police. So when Saturn and Mars is out, things with the police, things with the army is going to be affected. Weapons and combat. It's all going to be happening because Mars is in retrograde. So yes, the planets have... Um, govern some of our subconscious but using consciousness is knowing and then subconscious is not knowing so now that you know about these energies and how they play with you you can manipulate the planets to work with you not against you i'm just saying i'm just saying you don't have to believe anything that I say. What you all need to do is connect to your God self, your source fragment self, to know what I'm saying is real or true. 
because there's for every belief there is a lie so know what's real in this matrix okay so let's see what's happening i don't know what sign to do first but pisces you see if i do pisces first all the pisces are going to come on my page and they're going to leave i know how pisces roll they're going to want to know what's going on with them unless they're cross watching and they're looking for someone that's a friend or family or lover of theirs that's partly a scorpio or cancer and they're cross watching because a pisces once i do pisces they're going to be out they'll be like okay we got our reading i'm out or this doesn't resonate i'm out I know how you have Pisces. You have the 12th house. Okay, relax. I love you too. So I don't know if I should do Cancer, Scorpio first or Pisces first. Um, can we get a vote here? We do Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces first. Scorpio. I see one Scorpio. <laughs> Well, maybe your Pisces sun doesn't act like that, Robin. Maybe because your moon or rising, you're that different type of Pisces. So if it doesn't resonate with what I said to you, Robin, it's because maybe because your moon or rising alignment has to do with it. Can you not throw that, please? I don't know if they're throwing stuff, but can you not do that, please? I'm on a video doing a live. They're throwing stuff. This doesn't have to resonate to every Pisces. You need to understand everybody, everybody. And this is nothing personal. Everyone has a natal chart. So check your sun, moon, or rising because your sun, moon, or rising could explain why you're a different type of Pisces compared to the other Pisces that don't resonate to it. So you cannot judge yourself or others with their um, sun sign. You need to know their sun, moon, or rising. So know your sun, moon, or rising. Maybe you're not the Pisces that I'm talking about because your sun, moon, or rising alignment. It goes, it goes in that order, so. So you know what, I'm gonna do Pisces, your choice, K. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna, guys, you should do it backwards, like what you was, uh, just speaking. Okay, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So I'm gonna do Scorpio first. I'm doing this backwards because someone gave me the idea to do it backwards. And since they told me to do it backwards, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And since I'm a Sun Capricorn, Rising Taurus, Moon Sagittarius, I agree. So guess what? Scorpios, you're gonna go first. So let's see what's happening to the Scorpios. Check your sun, moon, or rising, or check your Venus, Pluto, or Saturn, if this resonates to you in those alignments for Scorpio. This could be masculine Scorpio or female Scorpio. Let's see what's happening to the Scorpios. Are you ready, water signs? I am. All right, Scorpio. This is your time. This is your hour. This is for all the Scorpios out here. All right, spirit. Scorpio, do me a favor. Since you're, you're the eighth house, and eighth house governs sex, rebirth, transformations, use that energy and put it in here. All right, Scorpios, put your energy in here. Put your energy in here. Let this re reading resonate to a lot of Scorpio men and females that's coming to this earth. Let it resonate. All right, let's see what's happening to the Scorpio's universe. Let's see what's happening. All right, the first energy that's coming out is Page of Cups. So Scorpio, you could be dealing with a child 
or an adult that's being very immature right now with their feelings and emotion, or probably is you, Scorpio, you're in your bag or feeling your feelings or in your emotions. With the Page of Cups, this is, in it, this is immature energy, creative energy, passive energy, um, immature energy with feelings and emotions because Cup represents feelings and emotions. So this could be you or your child. And this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces with the Cups. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's pull out more cards. I love. You could be dealing with a Capricorn child and there's a Scorpio. Capricorn energy with the Four Pentacles and Water Sign energy with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces with the Cups. So someone's in their bag with their feelings. Someone's feeling miserable feeling like they don't got what they want or they're not getting their way with the four principles. This could be your energy, Scorpio, or the energy that's surrounding you, okay? Remember, this is a general reading. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. It's not a personal reading. This is the death card, which is the Scorpio card. Scorpio, this is your card right here, the death card. This represents sex, death, life, transformations, energies that you can't explain, mystery, cryptic, Rebirth, major transformations happening to Scorpio's life. We got the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is, is Sagittarius energy. Eight of Wands. This is movement, moving fast or slow, moving in different directions. This is a time frame for August. Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Virgo energy is connected to the planet Mercury. So this could be for a form of communication from Mercury or thinking with Mercury when it comes to your love or finances with the Nine of Pentacles. Scorpio, you have the star card. You could be making wishes. You could be networking. You could be hoping and wishing and healing, Scorpio. Major, maybe this major transformation you're going through that feels like death is transforming you in your life with the, um, the star card. Star card is also you making wishes you probably wishing to heal or wishing to transform with the death card here. And with the star card, it's Aquarius energy, which is Uranus energy and Saturn energy. And this is Pluto energy. Pluto is about transformation. Uranus is about thinking outside the box and computers and network and astrology. And um, sh um, the star, that's a, a Uranus energy. And Saturn is your fears. Saturn represents your fears, your limitations, and your restrictions. That is Saturn. And that's what you want to heal and transform from. Some of, there's someone surrounding you, probably Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's always defensive, always on guard with the Seven of Wands. Their first action is always to wake up with a defense. Okay, Scorpio, let's clarify the cards that's happening here, okay? So let's clarify Scorpio, the Page of Cups, having immature feelings with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That's being immature with their feelings and emotions. Things are moving fast and quickly with the eight of wands, the energy. So very impulsive here, or impulsive emotions, impulsive thinking. Um, feeling miserable, feeling greedy, feel like you're not getting enough that, that what you want materialized or love-wise. Um, talking about and communicating about um, material things with love and finances. Trying to transform yourself, trying to um, transform and transmute your energies to heal, to put network. You want to own a business. Some of you want to own a business, own a network. Some of you trying to own property. Some of you Scorpios trying to own a property. So let's clarify with the RuPaul Drag Race, um, these cards. I love the Golden Girl cards. Me too, I love it too. After we do Scorpio, I'm going to do Pisces, I think, next. Or... No, I'm gonna do Cancers next, cause it was I said Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and I said I'm gonna flip it backwards, right? I forgot how I said it. I forgot what I said, guys. But let's clarify the Page of Cups when it comes to Scorpio and their reading. The Page of Cups. Let's clarify it. Can 50 people share this video? Cause only 50 people are watching this. So if 50 people, if 50 people are watching this. 50 people could share this for an extension. Clarify the outcome with the pay. Ooh, the star card. Some of you probably dealing with Aquarius. Or your child's an Aquarius. Or the person you're dealing with is acting childlike is Aquarius. For some of you that resonate with this. And then some of you are probably dealing with another water sign. Some of you. Okay? 
But if some of you Scorpios should be dealing with a, a Aquarius that's being immature. It's like the Aquarius betrayed you. The Aquarius betrayed the Scorpio, female or male Scorpio. Clarify the um, four pentacles. Because someone is being very, how you say, greedy or, or very miserable. Not happy, very miserable. Two of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Four of Pentacles and two of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. Four plus two, four, five, six, six of Pentacles. What you want, Scorpio, is someone to be generous with you, to give back the same energy that you give back out to them. And since you feel like you're not getting that, it's making you feel uneasy or on edge. Someone is not matching the Scorpio's energy when it becomes a lover or a friendship. Let's see what's going on with the death card for Scorpio, the death card. Three of Swords. Some of you Scorpios are probably dealing with someone that's feeling heartbroken or sad or depressed with the Three of Swords. They're having problems with their family and friends and their relationship, Scorpio. And this is causing problems with you with the Three of Swords because the someone that you care about and love is having major fucking problems with the family and friendship right now. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands when it comes to Scorpios. Eight of Wands, the High Priestess, is Pisces energy. So the Pisces is probably moving fast or impulsively for the Scorpio. If you're not dealing with a Pisces, you're probably dealing with a Sagittarius that's moving fast. Or there's the other woman in the picture that's holding a lot of secrets about their lover. Someone's holding a lot of secrets. Gemini energy, Pisces energy here, and uh, Sagittarius energy here. Scorpio ain't having the death card. With the three of wands, Scorpio is looking for improvement and moving forward. They find the best things of life, the, be the grand things of life. Clarify the nine of pentacles when it comes to Scorpio. You have the strength card. So Scorpio, your ego is being tested when it comes to finance and your love life. Okay, what is the thing that Scorpio could do to um, unblock this outcome and this energy right now, spirit? Ace of Cups. Reconcile all the bad relationships that you have with friends and lovers. Ace of Cups. Reconcile it for you to move on with the strength card physically, spiritually, and mentally. What is the um, star card? Someone's probably trying to heal from the heartache in the brain. Someone's trying to heal from you, Scorpio, or you're trying to heal from someone. Either you broke someone's heart, Scorpio, or they're breaking your heart. And they're trying to heal from you with the star card. Someone broke someone's heart, okay? Broke someone's fucking heart. They ain't break Kaori's heart. I'll tell you that. Five of Wands. A big fight, a big argument with an Aquarius or with an Aries or with a Pisces. Fighting, not getting along, not seeing eye to eye, being problematic with the Five of Wands. Competing. Ooh, child, I can't. We just clarified all that shit for Scorpio. Can we see the outcome when it comes to money, love, friends, and family for Scorpio? Because that was a lot of shit. Okay, for Scorpio.
so true, baby, Dorothy. Oh, I'm sorry if that's true, but it wouldn't get the outcomes for Scorpio, general outcome for Scorpio. This is happening. This is wind. This wind is blowing my head all types of directions and shit. All right, let's finish this reading for Scorpio. Okay. What is um, the outcome when it comes to Scorpio and family? Oh, wow. Oh, Virgo energy and Capricorn energy. Someone in the family is communicating about moving long distance from the family. Someone is giving news and communication, probably a Virgo or Capricorn when it comes to Scorpio. And, and they're talking about the family and the home. Someone is actually about um, talking about taking a pet and moving their pet to someone else's home. We'll see what's happening with friends and Scorpio. When it comes to friends and Scorpio, you have the four of pentacles and you have the nine of wands. You're having a friend that's being very clingy, like they're acting like they're your lover right now, Scorpio. And your friend is like, you need to be giving me attention right now. Your friend is needing of your attention. Let's see what's happening to lovers and Scorpio. L Love and Scorpio. Nick, Scorpio, you can be dealing with an earth sign, probably a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, strong Capricorn energy with the three of pentacles, and Virgo energy with the page of pentacles. Um, you can be dealing with someone that's immature in your love life, a lover, and they immaturely when it comes to dealing with money and finances. Okay, Scorpio? When it comes to work, you have the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups. You could be having, you could be the queen, meaning you being a manager or supervisor, and you're cutting someone's hours, or you reprimanding someone else at work. Scorpio, if this is you, if this is the opposite, the, a manager is reprimanding you, Scorpio. Okay, these are the outcomes for Scorpios for general reading. Now, the next water sign we're going to do is Cancerians, the Cancers, and after Cancers, we're going to do Pisces. Pisces is next. Okay. Oh, it's windy. I don't want my cards to blow, so I'm like holding tight to these cards. Because all I need is for these freaking cards to blow. I just said that and a card just blew. A fucking card. <laughs> you know what card flew out my hand? Look here. You want to know what card flew out my hand? The High Priestess represents Pisces. The Pisces card flew out my hand. So there's a Pisces watching my live was like, I don't want to fucking see cancer reading. I want to see a Pisces reading. So whoever this Pisces is, y'all need to relax because y'all wild it out. That shit flew. Look at the distance. Look where I'm at right here. I was doing the reading right there. That shit flew. The High Priestess, the Pisces card. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> that's crazy so whoever this Pisces man or female is they're pushing the energy they want me to read them and it's, it doesn't work like that so guys we don't get everything that we want in life but there's a Pisces acting out of control because this woman wants answers don't worry because maybe this reading won't resonate for all the Pisces so Pisces needs to relax not everything's going to resonate. This is a general reading. It's not a personal reading. <sighs> well, let's see what's going on. We did the outcome for um, Scorpios, and now we're gonna do, please, Pee Wee said shots. I triple water sign. <laughs> oh shit. I 
I don't know. People are arguing, I guess, but I can't entertain these arguments. If anyone wants to think of something about me, they can think anything they want about me. At the end of the day, no, none of us. People are going to think bad things about us, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. People are going to think bad things or positive things or negative things about anybody. So we cannot stop people from thinking things about us. We could try to control it, but we can't really control the whole outcome. But I'm going to do Cancers next, guys. If anyone takes it personal, that's on them. That shows me through consciousness how the person mindset it is. It's nothing bad, but it is what it is. I'll say that. Well, hello, my New Yorker. Friend, thank, I think you're special and charming. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mahia. I want to thank the woman named Mahia Hayward. Um, thank you so much, Mahia Hayward. I really, her name is magic, because in Spanish is Mahia. Mahia in Spanish means magic. So when I see Mahia's name, I'm like magic all the time. <laughs> all right, let's do this cancer reading, guys. It's really windy right here. So let me take some crystals out. I'm going to get strawberry um, quartz to place it on my um, tarot deck so they won't fly. And I'm gonna get um, black obsidian. So let's do this, guys. Let's be ready. All right, so I'm gonna do this reading for Cancers. Check your natal chart. This could be your sun, moon, or rising. Um, check your Venus, Pluto, or Saturn if you have Cancer in it, because this could resonate to you for Cancers, okay, guys? Check also, this could be masculine energy or feminine energy, okay? Remember, this is a general reading. It is not a personal reading. So this could resonate or it can't resonate. So let's see what's happening to the cancer boys or cancer girls, whether you gay, straight, or bisexual. We live in a human world where, where things are labeled, but love is love and sex is sex. It doesn't matter if you're sucking dick, pussy, where men are men, women are women, or men are women. It does not matter. Love is love. No one should be judging others for loving someone else. So if your child is gay or bisexual or straight, you still love them. If you got gay, bisexual or straight, you should love yourself and love others. So stop with the homo, gay shit, because that is a 3D mindset and that means you're judging yourself and you're judging others acting like that. So love is love. Where the people don't understand, if listen, the world brainwashed a lot of y'all. It is not true that women have to wear skirts and dresses. Women can wear sweatpants and a fitted hat. And a man don't, doesn't have to wear uh, jeans all the time. He can wear a skirt if he wants to. And if you have a problem because if a man wants to wear a skirt, what that says about you and your mindset, you shouldn't be judging anyone in this matrix. If you judge yourself or judge anybody in this matrix, your subconscious will continue judging you. So reprogram yourself to stop judging yourself and judging others. So men can wear dresses if they want to and paint their nails. Men can wear makeup if they want to. And guess what? Here's the cool part. He don't have to be gay just because he's getting his nails done. Oh, that's some faggot shit. A straight guy getting his nails done and getting his butt licked by a woman. No, it's not no faggot shit because he's getting his butt licked by a woman, not a man. So y'all need to get out that mindset, that 3D mindset, and use the 5D mindset, okay? Because in the 5D consciousness, love is love, and you, you can't judge. Love doesn't judge or control. So stop saying you love people, your family and friends, but you're judging them and controlling them, because that's not love, okay? Learn what the fuck love is. Not because you found out love because your family told you what love. Do not take advice for love when people have love problems. Figure out what love is within yourself. I have to say that because a lot of y'all got it twisted when it comes to the male gender role and the female gender role. At the end of the day, this stupid human body that we have inside of it has female and masculine energy. So I don't want to hear shit. And if you don't know nothing about energy, y'all shouldn't be talking shit or judging shit because you don't know nothing about how energy works. That goes for the people that's judging gay people, straight people, bisexual or pansexual people or binary people. Stupid.
You wasting your fucking energy judging, hating somebody for living their life because they want to suck dick and pussy? You're stupid. Moving on. And yes, I'm spiritual. And yes, I'm judging right now. Because you're stupid. That's some stupid. That's a waste of fucking energy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I don't like that gay shit. You scared because you're going to like another man? That's what it is? Because you, you fear you're going to like another man and that's bad? Because in the Bible and religion, politics and porn told you it's bad? Get the fuck out of my face, sir. I said it politely. Get the fuck out of my face, sir. That's polite. I put the sir in there. So let's see what's happening to cancers. Let's see what's happening to the cancers. This is 2020. I don't know why people are still against that. If a man is straight, let him be straight and honest getting his nails done and his hair done. Who gives a fuck? Why it bothers you? Because you was raised thinking that straight men are supposed to be masculine and not show a feminine side? <laughs> fuck out of here. Brainwashed. King of swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius man, Cancer. If you're a female or a guy. There's a Pisces energy coming through. Water sign coming through. There's the full card upside down. I'm going to leave it upside down. There's a reason why it went upside down. So someone is resisting change. Someone's not changing. Someone is not accepting changes with the full card upside down. Okay, Cancer? Ooh, Cancer. Already. Already. And the hangman is upside down. So there could be a man in your life that's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that wants to communicate and the communication... Whoever blocked you or unblocked you, whatever's happening here, Cancer, someone wants to communicate with you. With the hangman in reverse and the king of swords. Oh, someone wants to tell the truth. Someone wants mental clarity. There's a Cancer that wants the truth already. Communicate already. Stop fucking spying and communicate. Someone is on edge with the Seven of Wands. What the fuck is going on, Cancer? I don't know what the fuck is going on. I, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So let's find out. Okay. What the fuck is this? Yo, I think it's so humid out here that my hair is getting poofy. Oh my God. I got Jimmy Neutron here. Like, what the fuck is this? I don't know. Okay, let's clarify these cards here. For Cancer. After Cancer is Pisces. Pisces, you're next. Yeah, my hair's getting humid. It's hot. My hair doesn't ever do that. Like, what the fuck is this, guys? I have this fucking Jimmy Neutron here. Clarify the King of Swords, the man that wants to talk, communicate. Okay, Cancer, who's this man? What the fuck he wants? He better got a big dick. His dick better be bigger than this fucking Black Ossibrian. What the fuck? Oh, another thing I want to mention. Lately, a lot of straight guys are... Y'all men are stupid. Thank God I'm gay and I think like a female. Because not all gay guys think like a female. But this straight guy was talking to me and he thought that I was trying to, that I did this for him. That I do makeup and I talk about sex and all this for him. And I'm like, nigga, I don't do that for you. I do it for myself. So for any man that's out there that thinking that us females and us gay guys do things for y'all to look pretty, we do it to make ourselves feel pretty. Not for y'all. And for the gay guys and the girls that's doing this to make niggas feel good about themselves, do it for yourself first. Don't do it for nobody. So don't put your makeup on. Don't feel pretty for other people. Do it for yourself. And that's why I do it. So for the straight guy that told me that, you're a fucking idiot. I wasn't looking pretty for you, you idiot. You don't know me, so stop assuming. What the fuck? Stupid. Fucking stupid. Clarify this stupid man with the Gemini Libra Aquarius energy that wants to communicate with the cancer. How about that? Let's do that. Oh, this man has a lot of secrets. Mm, cancer, you're dealing with a man that has a lot of secrets with the moon card. Who's this man? Who's this man with all these secrets? Something new is happening to him in his life. Maybe a new child, a new work, or something happening with the Ace of Pentacles. 
someone has a new secret that someone oh cancer someone has a secret offer they want to give you they want to do it on a low low because they're already in the relationship that's why and if you take this offer that says a lot about you you dirty bitch that's all i got you dirty if you take that offer because this person is taken so you're gonna be a little secret puta you a secret puta let me find out you're a secret puta and for the white people and the people that don't know Spanish, puta means whore. And in Italian, putani. Mm -mm. Clarify this moon cards. I can't. Someone's being a secret. Basically, they're going to hit you up on the DM. Be like, yo, you want this meat? Do you want this meat or not? Nah? And then the cancer girl's going to be like, I guess I want the meat. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the meat. <laughs> Why? I don't. If they have secrets, why take that meat? That's some secret. You like mystery meat? That's what it is, cancer? There's a cancer that likes some mystery meat. That's what it is. They like that mystery meat. I, I like to know what kind of meat I'm putting in my mouth, okay? Let's clarify the moon car spirit, because I can't. I can't with this cancer. I cannot. I cannot. Not today, cancer. Not today. I can't. I can't do this. Clarify the moon card. Ooh, Cancer, you have a lot of insecurities right now. <laughs> cancer, you have insecurities with the other female. Could be a family member. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay. So with the moon card, you having problems with a man. That's an ex. So there's an ex-man coming into a Cancer's life that's bringing a lot of problems. Also, he's trying to fix things up with you and you don't want to fix things with this man. You're done with this man. You're trying to make new friends. Um, Queen of Swords, the Cancer is having an argument with a, a younger person, someone in their family, that's an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And there's, things are on edge. So it's like, it's like you're getting along with this person as a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it's like, there's fairness between y'all, but it's like they walk on eggshells with you. Okay, Cancer? Damn, all these cards came out for Cancer. For what? For only, for only, all these cards came out for just one card, to clarify. Cancer, you messy, or someone, I don't know. I can't do this. I can't, I can't. Can we clarify why the fuck the full card is upside down for Cancer? Someone is very indecisive when it comes to their fucking love life or when it comes to finding a job. That's what the cancer is going through. I'm not making this shit up. I mean, I wish I made this shit up. Ashley Chambers, Scorpio's first. He's on cancer. Now Pisces is next. Thank you. You're super cute. So... With the full car upside down. Oh, this makes a lot of sense. This means making movement, okay? With the three of wands and, and changing and looking for growth. Okay, moving and growing. But this full car is upside down. So it's like someone is scared to move and to grow. Who is this person whose energy who's scared to move and grow with the cancer? Four of pentacles. So, um, this person that you're dealing with is very miserable right now, and they're dealing with a lot of with things and issues right now financially and material-wise. So, they can't grow with you and move with you because they're having their own problems and their own love life. They're already invested with someone else. Clarify the hangman in reverse. Ooh, child. Clarify the hangman in reverse. Clarify the hangman in reverse. The sun card. Could be dealing with the Leo or dealing with your ego. So someone is stuck in their ego. Could be you, Cancer, or the other person. Why are they stuck with the ego with the sun? 
Because sun means being happy and celebrating and traveling and vacation. But this cancer don't look that happy. Cancer, you're having a lot of conflict and issues and drama with communicating yourself with others. So someone is not communicating with you with the five of swords and there's something, there's other people like family and, and relatives that's communicating too much with the five of swords. Basically, people putting their two cents at the wrong time. Okay, Cancer? Now the truth may be coming out with the ace of swords or some victory for you, Cancer, with the ace of swords. Let's see what this is about. Oh my God. Oh Lord Jesus. Okay, this person gave me having a child. The person that's gonna be talking to you that's telling you the truth already having a child on the way. And that's the drama they're stuck with, having this child. They probably wanna communicate, they probably wanna fuck you one more time, Cancer, but the reason why they can't fuck you one more time is because they're having a fucking baby, that's why. And all that fucking can make more babies. So if they fucked someone and got someone else pregnant, they can fuck you and get you pregnant too. That's too much babies. I'm sorry. Clarify the seven of wands. Clarify the seven of wands. Four of cups. So, you know, this is making a lot of defensive energy. Uh, curious almost why the person is not doing or investing any type of emotions or feelings. Also, this is the um, cancer. You're probably dealing with another cancer because this is four, five, six, seven of wands is Leo energy and four of cups is cancer energy. So the cancer that's very defensive is partly you or you partly defensive towards another cancer. Yeah. The king of swords, the men that you love or the men that you're thinking about is a cancer. Four of cups. And this cancer man with the four of cups is very bored with his life or not happy. Why? Because ten of pentacles, he has a family to worry about. You know, sis, I'm done. Spirit said a lot today. I'm done. After this reading, I'm going to go get me some oatmeal. I need some oatmeal. I need some fiber after doing this reading. So let's see what's happening with the outcome when it comes to love, money, um, family, and friends for um, cancer. And then next is Pisces. Pisces is next. Let me fix myself. I, I love oatmeal. Whoever knows me, I like farina. I like cream of wheat, which is farina. I like oatmeal. I like hot cereal. I love oatmeal. I like coconut oatmeal. Oh my God. I like um, oatmeal with bananas in it. Oatmeal with raisins and almonds in it. I like, don't fucking get me started. Don't get me started. Don't. I love oatmeal. I guess I'm an old ass bitch. That be sucking mad dick. Cause I love oatmeal. You eat bananas in your oatmeal? Yes, I do. And I eat porridge. I love porridge, which is oatmeal in a blender, like porridge. I love it. That's why you're moving in with me. Oh, shit, my bestie is here. She said I'm moving in with her. Oh, wow.
All right, what is the outcome when it comes to money and cancers? What has happened to my cancers financially? What is the outcome? Pisces, you're next after this. Oh, um, cancer, do you want to hear about what's going to happen to your money or not? I don't, I don't know if you want to. I don't, okay. So, for some of you cancers, not all of you, um, you could be hearing some things with money that doesn't sound so good with the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Tower card, Aries, Scorpio, and Page of Cups, you, Cancer. So, Cancer, you're going to be feeling very moody because either someone is causing drama at work and you don't want to hear the drama because there's a betrayal with part co-workers at work and you're part of this drama and the cancer's like, ah, it's too fucking early for this shit. Your motherfuckers want to be fighting at the job. Do the shit at home. Moving on. What is happening to cancers with friends? The six of cups, Scorpio energy, and three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Um, with, this is a good friendship here. This is a give and take type of friendship. A give and take type of friendship here. So your friend gives and takes and you take and you give. I love it. So let's see what's happening to lovers in Capricorn. I mean Capricorn. Lovers and Cancers. Okay. Cancer, you can, you can be dealing with a lot of lying with, from Aquarius or a Taurus. Wait. That's eight. This is Virgo energy. Someone could be lying about working hard on themselves to a Cancer. Someone's saying they're working hard on themselves and they're lying about that. They're not being honest about them changing their ways or working on themselves to a cancer. Someone can say they, they're going back to school or going back to work and lying about that also. So we did the whole outcome for um, cancers. Next is Pisces. This is the hour for Pisces. So Pisces, this is your time. We're going to do it right now. Um, Check your natal chart, check your sun, moon, or rising, check your Pluto, Saturn, and Venus if it falls in Pisces. Okay, Pisces? We're about to do your energy right now. For some reason, I got so nauseous. <sighs> really nauseous. I'm so sorry. I'm so nauseous right now. It's not funny. Ooh. Oh. Guys, I swear to my mother, I feel nauseous as fuck, and I'm trying to continue the read. <sighs> oh my god. Y'all bitches gonna have y'all taking some energy out of me. <sighs> I'm so sorry. This is the first time I ever did this in my life. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if someone is if you, the pregnancy. I feel so nauseous. Oh my god! I just wanted to do a Pisces reading, and the fucking I'm starting to feel I'm gonna throw up. I love you, Pisces. I don't hate you, but right now you're making me. Someone is making me so sick. Whoever knows the power of empathy knows what the fuck I'm going through right now. Uh, let me try to get up. Oh, shit. Yo, I feel so fucking sick to my stomach. It's crazy.
either someone's pregnant or they have intestinal gastro pro problems because ooh. All right, I'm gonna begin this reading now. Oh my God, I feel sick. All right, let's do this reading for um, Pisces. I don't want Pisces thinking I'm acting. Oh my God, I want to throw up. All right, going back to the reading. Whew, let's do the reading for Pisces. I'm so sorry. Um, I was feeling really sick. Like I was going to throw up. I couldn't. Oh my God, I feel out of it. But um, let's continue doing this reading for Pisces. Tonight, I'm going to be doing a Catch Me Live. Tonight, I'm going to do a donation reading where you can send me donations, $5, $10, $3, $7. I don't care. And I'll pull out three cards or more for you, depending on the donation. So I'm going to do that later. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Kiori's back. So let's see what's happening to my Pisces. Uh, I'm a, I heard, okay. There's a Pisces that's gonna get digged down. There's a Pisces that's watching me. You better text me when you're getting digged down. And for the people that don't know what digged down means, digged down means that you're gonna get a dick appointment. Dick appointment means that someone's making an appointment to fuck the shit out of you and you're down for it. So someone's gonna get digged down. Not me, I mean, I wish I would. I'm hating on you, whoever you are, because I don't have no dick going in my butt and my throat right now, and it's sad, because my shit is so dry, it's like cobwebs. So whoever you are, lucky to you. Let's get to you this reading. Check your sun, moon, and rising. Check your Venus, Pluto, and Saturn for, um, for Pisces. All I know is I felt Pisces getting fucked. So. Lucky for you, I mean, I'm not getting nothing. Maybe y'all should be sending that energy my way. Listen, Mars is out. So Mars is going to bring a dominating energy. Someone's going to be trying to dominate other people in an aggressive way. Like, I will fuck the shit out of you. I will fuck. I will fuck that out of you that type of energy that's aggressive oh i just fucked my lipstick up damn i just messed up my lipstick i was trying to give an example of mars energy because mars is a retrograde and look what happened my lipstick got fucked up all right no more demonstration let's cut to the reading some of you working on a project when it comes to money, some of you Pisces. Some of you Pisces are probably having a second job or getting, something's happening with you and work and money. Something new with money. Oh, yeah, you're working. You are working, you're the king of wands. Oh, there's a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, man that you're working with at the job or your boss hiring you. This is like a boss or a manager with the king of wands. So you could be working. You probably a boss ass bitch, 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 bitch. A boss ass bitch. Honey, you're making money. I don't know who the fuck this Pisces is, but they self made. Pisces is having some drama too with a tower card. Something is being forced or taken away from you with a tower card. Could be dealing with the Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Energy is coming through. There's some confusion with the Seven of Cups for Pisces. There's some confusion with the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio. The Pisces. Pi oh, there's a red spider on my screen. 
Pisces, this is the moon card. This is Pisces card right here. This is Pisces card right here, the moon card. And this is the full card. So we got Pisces energy here, Aquarius energy here, and Scorpio energy here. And then we got Aries energy and Sagittarius energy surrounding the, the Pisces and their reading. So these are energies that you're being surrounded if it's not in your natal chart. These are the people, places, and things in your life. Okay, so Pisces have some confusion surrounding them. There's so many options. I don't know which options to pick with the Seven of Cups. Some of them are daydreaming a lot. Um, there's some fears and insecurities being caused by a man in your life. And then uh, you trying to take a leap of faith out of all this with the wheel of, with the fool. All right, let's see what's going on. So let's see what the um, Ace of Pentacles, this new money, this hand that's being given to you, that's giving you extra hours and extra pay and extra money. What is happening here when it comes to that? Some of you are working from home because I'm picking up home base. For some of you Pisces are working at home. Cause I see this Pisces working hard with these coins. Clarify um, the Ace of Coins. Oh, some of you returning to get extra hours at work with the Hermit card. Or some of you returning to an, a, your old job and having more than... Some of you are working two jobs or more. Damn, God damn. Who the fuck is this Pisces person? <laughs> I need to live with you. <laughs> Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces. Pisces, I feel like some of you are dealing with a man that's narcissistic. If it's not your boss, it's your lover. Or a narcissistic man with the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Oh, King of Wands, the King of Wands. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a man that's being cold-hearted. Not showing, he's, he's being logic and reasoning and cold-hearted, but not showing no feelings and emotions. Clarify the King of Wands spirit. The Tower card. So this man is bringing a lot of drama and chaos in your life. There's a Pisces female. Not, now, this is not going to resonate to every Pisces. This is, a, this is not personal. It's a general reading. There's a person that you're dealing with as an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy here, and they're bringing a lot of fucking drama, and you need to get rid of them. If you don't, you're going to lose a lot with the tower. Well, this Pisces is. Man or female, I feel sorry. Well, I don't feel sorry for you. You're grown up. You're a fucking grown up. Why are you letting this happen? Why are you letting this person... You, you know, I don't care no more. Fuck you. That's your life. Whoever this resonates to, and you letting this person do this to you, I don't give a fuck what love... Love has nothing to do with it. Love doesn't control, and love doesn't judge. So what, what the fuck is going on with this energy here? That is crazy. You need fucking help. You don't need Kaori. You need to go see a psychiatrist because Kaori cannot help you. You decide to be with a fucking person like this? Are you crazy? Are you fucking crazy? Do you need fuck? He needs to slap the shit out of you and beat you up and cheat on you with your girlfriend or mother for you to leave this person? That's what it needs to happen? He needs to kill you in order for you to fucking leave? That's ridiculous. That, you don't love yourself. Don't say, I love myself. My pussy's popping. Or my, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. Because this is there's a difference between negative energy and toxic energy. Toxic energy don't like to change a lot. Negative energy can transmute to positive to negative. Because for every positive, there's a negative. And for every negative, there's a positive. And for every positive, there's a negative. It goes back and forth. But if the person is toxic and not changing in negative ways, then you're wasting your time. That's a waste. That's Five of wands. Always fighting, always arguing, always competing against each other. Five of wands. Next card, the tower card. You have, I can't. Whoever this Pisces is, you're problematic. You, you are, whoever this Pisces is, you are very problematic. The, this is your fault. This is all your fault. Shame on, shame on the person for abusing you and shame on you for staying there, for not being smart. 
Because that's crazy. You have two tower cards in your reading? What the fuck? You better pray to St. Cecilia or pray to whoever you believe in. Whoever this resonates to you. Clarify this tower card for Pisces. Pisces, I'll tell you this. This is a blessing in disguise. Because when the universe gives you the tower card, which is a, a major arcana, not a minor arcana, this means the universe is stripping all the bad things away from you and all you're doing is crying boo-hoo because you don't want to lose that person, place, or thing that the universe is trying to take away from you. It's you that don't want to lose it and the universe is taking it away and you decide, no, I cannot lose this person, place, or thing. No, let it go because the universe is getting rid of it for a reason. Eight of Cups. There's a Pisces that's going to return back to this person. Not all of you Pisces. This doesn't resonate to all of you. But there's a Pisces. Eight of Cups, Pisces energy returning to this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. Some of you return back to this person. Wow, this is sad. You trapped yourself. You blocked your own blessings. When a person lives with a person, place, or thing that is toxic and doesn't grow from negative and positive energy, then you block your blessings with your love life and your money. So good luck. Kudos to you, whoever you are, because you don't know nothing about law of attraction. You don't know nothing about energy exchange. You didn't study about energy exchange. You didn't study nothing about law of attraction, and you're causing your law of attraction to be negative, not positive. Good luck with your life. I don't give a fuck if it's your mother, your husband, your brother, your sister. If the person is toxic and they trigger you and they don't bring the best out of you and only bring the worst out of you, then why are you staying with that people, place, or thing? You're not growing. You're going backwards. Clarify the seven of cups, the confusion and the options that the Pisces have. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. There's a Pisces or someone around you is heartbroken with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords meaning separating from a lover or a family member, and this separation is bringing grief and heartache. So Pisces, the reason why you're confused with all these options that's happening to you. You're confused about the break of the separation. You're confused on how to break up with someone, how to separate yourself from this person. What is the outcome with the Three of Swords? The outcome with the Three of Swords is the Page of Cups. Feeling heartbroken, feeling immature feelings, feeling, you know, not getting my things my way. Clarify the Moon card for Pisces, the fears and insecurities. Why is it blocking them? because they have family values. Pisces have this mindset where I'm supposed to be in a relationship with kids and family and my pets in the home, 10 of Pentacles. And since they have that mindset, they're concerned about not having the home, the family, the kids, and the things that they want with the 10 of Pentacles. Also, this is um, Virgo energy and Pisces energy collaborating. What's ever on your mind, Mercury is connected to um, communication and thoughts. So whatever you're communicating or thoughts about is using Mercury energy, is bringing fear to your Pisces, Neptune planet. This fear and security is coming from you wanting the Ten of Pentacles. The abundance with your job, your home, the family, the kids. See what's going on with the full card? There's a Pisces man or female taking a leap of faith. Probably with an Aquarius or taking a leap of faith in general. What is this leap of faith that the Pisces is, is doing? Three of Cups. The leap of faith is you're trying to find healing. You're trying to go see a person that's spiritual, a shaman, or a psychiatrist with three cups. You're trying to find friends and family for support to heal with the three of cups. Oh, let's see the outcome that's happening to Pisces. Okay, what's gonna happen to Pisces when it comes to friends, family, love, and money? Let's see. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. What's, what, what's happening to Pisces when it comes to love? With their love life? What's happening to Pisces? Oh, wow. 
yeah, the person that you love right now is not on your same level. They're actually a page and you're the king and queen. And with the judgment card, you already know this. You already judge this and they judge you and you already know this, the person you're with. What is happening to friends and Pisces? Oh shit. With the seven of cups, you could be having a friend that's having the same similar problems like you Pisces and they're coming to you for, for some advice about their love life. Or they're coming to you about their child. There's someone in your life, Pisces, that, there's a mother figure that's in your life that's talking about their child to you. About their immature actions in their love life. What kind of money and Pisces? Oh, Pisces is working on a new job, a new project with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy and with the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. When it comes to family and Pisces, Three of Pentacles and a Knight of Swords. This is beautiful. I see a strong communication and bond when it comes to your family, Pisces. I see you communicating through the phone or email somehow with the um, swords. And then three is teamwork. The whole family, there's a man figure, Gemini Libra Aquarius, that's making the Pisces family relatives are connecting, collaborating, and sharing with each other. Teamwork brings the dream work. So there's a family that's collecting with each other, using feelings and emotions, and also the best key, communication with the swords. All right. I want to thank all the water signs for being so patient with me and knowing that we got through this. Thank you, water signs, for watching my live. Um, if you share this um, 55 times, I will do an extension reading for the water signs. Again, thank you, water signs, for being there with me um, and understanding and, and, you know, going with the whole flow, especially with this live reading today. So I want to thank all the water signs um, and appreciate all of y'all. Thank you, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Until next time.